Okay, here is the, the third uh, short video about um, molecular orbital theory. And in particular, about um, this one is about molecular orbital diagrams. So in the last short video, we had uh, we solved secular determinants for H3 in a linear form and in a triangular form, like so. And we found that the energies uh, for the molecular orbitals formed from the three 1s orbitals of the hydrogens. So uh, we have these three 1s orbitals, which we combined. And using Huckel theory, we found that the energies here were equal to E plus root 2 beta. Uh, sorry alpha plus to root 2 beta, alpha and alpha minus root 2 beta. And here the energies were equal to alpha plus 2 beta and we had 2 of alpha minus beta. So if we draw a little molecular orbital diagram here, We have three hydrogen 1s orbitals for the H3, which all start at the energy alpha in both cases. And then we make the H3 molecule. We have uh, alpha minus root 2 beta, alpha and alpha plus root 2 beta. And here we have um, alpha minus beta. We actually have two levels there. And we also have uh, alpha plus 2 beta. Now, if this is H3 neutral, it has three electrons. So we can put them in 1, 2, 3 here, or 1, 2, three um, to the um, triangular form there. And if we add up the energies, the energy here, the total energy, is two times the bottom energy plus one times the middle one. So the energy here is three alpha. Now, root two is about 1.4. So it's about 2.8 beta. Uh, here, the energy is 3 alpha plus 3 beta. So it looks like on this analysis, the uh, triangular one is slightly more stable. So here, our conclusion is in terms of the energy, which is given here and here. If we take an electron away, we make H3+, plus. we only have two electrons, then we fill the levels up as follows. We only have two electrons to put in, so now here the energy is just going to be 2 alpha plus 2.8 beta. In a triangular case, that's um, going to be two electrons in here at the alpha plus 2 beta level. And so the energy now here is 2 alpha plus 4 beta. So here, the triangular form is more stable again, that this is 
significantly more stable. We'll just write it's more stable. Uh, if we go the other way and make H3 minus, uh, for the linear form, the energy is going to be 4 alpha plus 2.8 beta again. For the triangular form, put two electrons in here and two in this higher state here. Again, this is alpha plus 2 beta, but this is alpha minus beta. So now the energy here is equal to 4 alpha plus 2 beta. And in fact, now the linear form is more stable. Um, now, we can also look at the bond order of these things. I'm just going to do uh, two examples. Uh, if we look at the two ions, in the case of H3- here, this is a bonding orbital. This is, a not, this is an anti-bonding orbital. This one is at the same energy as the energy of the uh, 1s orbitals. This is actually non-bonding. So here, so for the linear, the bond order is equal to a half of 2 minus 0. Now in the case of a triangular, this is bonding here. And this is anti-bonding. Now in the simplistic bond order terms, we're going to say for the triangle, oops, I should have said that's equal to 1. For the triangle, it's going to be a half of 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0, which is less stable. Now, just measuring the bond order like this, it doesn't really take account of how um, deep or how much bonding or how much anti-bonding things are. So the energy is actually a slightly more reliable guide. Now, famously, H3 plus is uh, triangular in reality. And although the Huckel theory is very simple, we've made loads of approximation using it, it's uh, actually quite helpful here. Let's just look at the bond order. So in both cases, we have two electrons in a bonding order, bonding orbital. We have no other electrons. So for both of them, the bond order is a half of 2 minus 0, which is equal to 1. OK. In, in this case, for the neutral, uh, you can work that out yourself. But it's going to be, again, a bond order of 1 for the linear and a bond order of a half for uh, the neutral H3 molecule in a triangular form. Okay, so I hope um, that's been uh, helpful just to, to take uh, the energies which we uh, calculated from secular determinants here and make a molecular orbital diagram. I should have indicated on molecular orbital group diagrams here. I just have to put it on the side that there is a sort of vertical axis which is E, which is energy. Horizontal axis isn't so well defined, but we sort of would write sort of atoms here and show the atomic levels and then show the molecule maybe here and uh, maybe draw some lines to show where things are going. Whoops, wrong place. There we go. Okay, so I hope uh, those are some useful uh, videos uh, about uh, molecular orbital theory.